Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how to make barcodes for your small business to help you level up your inventory management system, which is what I'm doing at this time. Today's video is going to be about printing from your computer. So I want to show you how you can print your own barcodes at home from your computer. Okay, so how do barcodes help resellers? Well, barcodes are a low cost way to increase your productivity. So rather than writing down all the details on a notepad or typing every item details in one by one, you can actually use a barcode to help save some time. You can also maintain accurate inventory records using barcodes, so you can quickly scan all the items in your inventory just to make sure that what you have listed for sale is actually what you have in your home. And I've made the mistake of selling something twice and having to cancel a sale because it went to someone a couple weeks ago and then it sold again. So it helps you maintain your accurate records in your inventory and helps reduce those type of errors. So it reduces the error, human errors that we tend to make when we get too busy. So these will definitely help you in your small business. Now what you need to make and use these barcodes is a spreadsheet of your inventory. So if you don't have one right now, you'll, you can definitely still benefit from this video to see how to make them, but definitely consider making an inventory management system um, or a spreadsheet of your inventory. What I've done is I took my Poshmark inventory report and just downloaded that and added some SKU numbers. And I would recommend using SKU numbers. That's what I'm going to use in this video today. You'll of course need a printer, some address labels, which I'll have some linked into this, the description for you. And you'll also need a barcode scanner so that you can utilize your barcodes, of course. Alrighty, so there are really two different types of barcodes. The first type we're going to talk about are linear barcodes or 1D barcodes. These are commonly used in retail. They can be read horizontally, which is why they're called 1D, one dimensional, and they contain lines with spaces to encode data. So data is usually text, so it tells us either the title or product name of your item, maybe the price of the item, and perhaps you might have a little bit of detail about that specific item as well. This is traditionally used with, with a scanner or a barcode gun that you might see. So if you ever go to the self-checkout at the grocery store, they might have the barcode gun that you can use for those larger products, or they have that scanner that you drive your item across. So an example of a 1D barcode would be a UPC code in the back of a bag of chips that you might buy at the grocery store. So that's something that we commonly, commonly see in today's retail world. The next type of barcode we have are 2D barcodes. They're used for various purposes, not just in retail, and they can be read in vertical and horizontal arrangements. So that's why it's called two-dimensional, because you can read them vertically and horizontally. They contain patterns and shapes to encode the data, so you might notice some dots, some squares, some lines, even pictures within that 2D barcode, like the tote scan labels that I demonstrated a couple of videos ago. So an example of a 2D barcode would be a QR code that's on a networking badge that leads to maybe a website. Or you might notice at Best Buy they have these QR codes next to their products. So if you scan their barcode, it takes you to the website so you can read more details and get the item specifics for that particular item. All right, believe it or not, you can use Avery's website to be able to download your own barcode. So the way you're going to do this is go to avery.com. When you're at avery.com, there's an option at their homepage for templates. Select the Avery design and print option, and then the green start designing button. Now you will be asked to create an account with avery.com. So if you don't have an account, create one. If you do have an account, 
go ahead and log in and you'll be able to utilize this area. Now I found these um, address labels on Amazon so I'm going to link these down below so that you can get to it right away but they're address labels and you can get 3,000 labels for only $12.99 at least at the time of this filming. So definitely jump on that. That's a lot of labels for a very low cost. So we're going to use the template 5160 which is compatible with these address labels. So highlight that row and then just select this template. Now you can see there's 1,709 designs, so we're going to narrow this down by typing product in the search bar. Now there are several options for barcodes, so we have one couple of them here, a couple more. But we're going to scroll all the way down because the one that I like is at the very bottom. It's very simplistic, very minimalistic, so it'll help you save ink on your printer. So we're going to use this one. We're going to create a linear barcode system, but then I'll show you how to make the 2D uh, barcode. Alright, so once you're here, you're going to get these pop-ups every now and then. So this is just reminding us that we're editing all of the address labels in one sheet or you can edit one by one, but to be more time efficient, we're going to go ahead and edit all. So the first thing I do is just customize the label. So I'm going to type in my business name. And then I like to change the font because, you know, I'm extra. <laughs> you guys know that about me already. Alrighty. Then we're going to go to the product name. We're going to save that image there for last. So I'm going to change the font for the product name as well. I like SCADA for this one and I like a smaller font. So of course, you make it the way you want it to look. Um, make it so that it's easy for you to read. So this is what's easiest for me. Okay, so this looks pretty good. You can move it around so that it's in a good area. Okay, so now we're going to go to that inventory report that I was talking about earlier to import the names of all of my products so that I don't have to do these one by one because I have over 100, or 100 items listed right now that have SKU numbers attached to them. So I'm going to definitely need that sheet, right? Because I don't want to type these in one by one. That's too much work. So you'll see an import data mail merge option. So click on that, select start import and merge. Browse for the file on your computer. So mine is actually sitting in my inventory folder. There we go, so I'm just gonna open that. Now it's asking you what fields do you want listed in these or utilized in this template. So I'm going to deselect the header and then there are certain columns that I don't need so I'm going to de deselect those. Now some things you might keep might be maybe the price of your item or just a description, you know, some general things about your item. So for me, I'm going to select product name and the SKU number because I need those two. And I'm going to take out this text because I don't need it. And I'm going to drag and drop that product name field into the right side here. So just left click and hold it, drop it into the arrange fields area. Then hit next and finish. All right, so you can see that it did import my item here. So my White House Black Market sleeveless top here. And now we can take care of that barcode. So I'm going to delete this because it's just a temporary image. And now I'm going to, on the left side here, select QR and barcodes. Okay, you can add a barcode or QR code. And we don't want to enter it manually, that's too much work. We're going to enter it with a spreadsheet. Okay, because I had selected or imported my spreadsheet already, it recognized the items that I want in this template. So I'm going to use my SKU number because I use I work very hard on it and I just want my SKU numbers in here. So that's what I'm going to utilize right now. So what I did is I just drag and drop that into the alphanumeric and special characters field. Now the industry standard format defaults to code 128. There are several other codes or fonts for barcodes, so I'm just going to leave it at code 128. And I want to display the text below because I do want the SKU number to show for me down here at the bottom. Then I'm going to select finish. 
and there it is. There's my SKU number that corresponds with the product name here. If I preview and print this item and zoom in, I can see my other products, like my J. Crew linen pom pom sleeveless top, has the correct SKU number at the at the top. So it's so quick, so easy. So I'll show you how to do the QR code next. Okay, so now we're going to print a 2D barcode. We're going to do actually a QR code with this one. So I'm selecting the same template and the same label actually. The reason that I want the same label is because it has the company name and product name fields already. And we can change that 1D barcode to a 2D barcode and I'll show you how. So once again, I'm going to customize my company name and import the product name just like I did before. Okay, this time I'm not going to move around the text right now just because when we import the QR code, we'll have to move things around at that point. So we're just going to delete this temporary image and go back to QR and barcodes. We're going to still select add barcode or QR code and enter with the spreadsheet. So then you will go ahead and import your data, browse for the file. And just like we did before, remove the header and any columns that you don't want to use with this template. Okay, so now I'm going to select the data that I want to use. Actually, you don't need to select it right now because we're going to change this code 128 to the QR code. Then we can drag it and drop it. Okay, if you notice there's no text down below, so I don't have my SKU number, but I'll show you how to add that soon. Okay, so you'll notice here that the image is pretty small, so I'm going to resize that so that's bigger. Now I can start customizing, and this is where we'll change this product name field to include the SKU number and the product name. So we're going back to the import data mail merge and choosing the fields. So I want my product name and the SKU number. I want it to display, let's take this text out, we don't want that. We want product name and SKU number. And hit next, finish, and there we go. There is my business name, maybe now we can make that bigger. Make too big. <laughs> Move it around so it looks nice. All right, there we go. So if I preview and print this, I should now be able to see all of my items with the product name and the SKU number with their own unique QR code. You can then print this yourself, get the PDF to print it. It's going to ask you to save it. First, you don't have to, but you might want to just in case your printer acts up and it doesn't print it right. So let's just hit don't save for this example. Open the PDF and there you go. All of your QR codes are now there and you can select the print button to print it from your computer. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or have any troubles whatsoever, please let me know. I'll be happy to help you. You can reach out to me on Instagram. I am at Joel Butterfly Style on Instagram and happy to help. And until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful sales week. Lots of sales days ahead and a great day.